Alexa Chung cut a chic figure as she attended the Curring Women in Motion Award during the 76th Cannes Film Festival on Sunday. The model, 39, donned a black suit co-ward with blazer jacket and wore an unbuttoned white shirt underneath, displaying her slim physique. Alexa appeared to have opted for a simpler but still elegant look, rather than the glamorous gown she wore earlier during the week. The fashion designer gave herself some extra inches as she donned a pair of black strappy heels. As leaving the jewelry home but a bold, dazzling necklace has been a common choice during the week at Cannes Film Festival, Alexa too wore a glaring diamond choker. She donned a subtle makeup palette with pale tones and gave the final touch with an eye-catching ruby lipstick. The fashion brand owner kept her brown tresses loose in waves as usual, styled in a wet hair effect with a side-parting slit. Alexa looked in jovial spirits as she was captured laughing and giving plenty of smiles to the camera. Earlier today, she opted for a completely different style for the premiere of Firebrand as she stunned in a black gown. The model nailed a classy look as the figure-hugging dress flaunted her very slender physique. The simple but very elegant dress featured a V-neckline and a rutch detail on the bust, as well as a floor-length skirt. Alexa added a touch of bold glam to the ensemble as she wore a very eye-catching necklace made of circled stones and diamonds, making sure all eyes were on her. Again, the model appeared to opt for a dazzling choice with the necklace and no other jewelry at all. The fashion designer showcased her top visage and opted for a very subtle and lightning makeup, adding her trademark red lipstick. Alexa looked in great spirits as she posed up a storm on the red carpet. On Saturday, she delighted fans and viewers with as she wowed in a stunning red strapless gown for the Killers of the Flower Moon premiere in Cannes. She commanded attention in a bold dress as she arrived for the glitzy premiere. Alexa's dress included a form-fitting strapless bodice and a flowing skirt as she poses solo at the premiere. The runaway queen accessorized her look with black pointed toe heels and a matching clutch bag. Killer of the Flower Moon explores the harrowing true story of the reign of terror that left two dozen Native Americans dead. Set in the 1920s, it centers on the FBI's investigation into a string of murders after several members of the Osage tribe in Oklahoma were slaughtered. Starring Leonardo DiCaprio, the film also features Robert De Niro as cattleman William Hale who is the uncle of DiCaprio's character Burkhart. The film marks 48-year-old DiCaprio's first film on the big screen since 2019 Quentin Tarantino flick Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Killer of the Flower Moon will have a limited release in select cinemas on October 6. There will later be a wider release in the U.S. on October 20 by Paramount Pictures and will eventually have a streaming release on Apple TV+, Plus. but it remains unclear when that will happen. This year's festival promises a coat dazzer buffet of spectacle, scandal, and cinema set to be served over the next 12 days.